Hi, I'm Kelly, and this is 5-Minute Book Arts. Previously, I showed you how to use a stamp pad and a stencil to start off your layout in your altered book or your journal in a way that brings the viewer's eye across both pages and holds the pages together. Now we're going to add some embellishment, some layer and depth, and... Um, Oh, come on. Frankly, it's the fun stuff. We need um, stencils. And uh, I'm using a spritzer with water in it. If you don't have a spritzer, that's fine. You can, again, just use a cheap makeup sponge um, for dampening the page with water. And soft pastels. Okay. So you want to dampen the page, either with your sponge or your mister. You do not want to get it soaking wet. We're talking damp. So put your stencil down. You don't want it to be too perfect, so just kind of get it off center a little bit there. And spray into it lightly with your spritzer. And then taking a soft pastel color over the stencil. Now, you're going to see it does not really look like the color is in there, and it's not. So what you want to do is take your finger and just rub that chalk that's kind of sitting on top of your stencil there, not going in like it's supposed to. Again, do not feel like you got to make the whole thing across. I've left a little space here. Now, when you pull this off, you've got well, you can't really see, but you actually have physical layer there because it's um, building up as if it was a uh, gesso and a stencil, which in a way it is because it's chalk and water. Um, let's see. Let's get this a little bit damp here. Wrong spritzer. And go with something contrasting. This is a different chalk pastel. And I'm just going to work that in. Work that right in. And I'm going to go ahead and carry this one across both pages so that it's going to make the pages hold together a little bit there. This is another messy stencil. Let's go here. I don't usually overthink this. Just jump in there and you can't do it wrong. Right. That's coming along. Now, there are a couple of spots here that could use some very, very light coverage. And so what I'm taking here is some bubble wrap. And again, I've got a ink and water in a mister. You can also use a stamp pad. You don't have to use a mister. You want to lightly spray your bubble wrap with some color or stamp it. And then you just want to bounce it. You don't want to be too heavy. But look at that. And the great thing here is you can really focus the color. And you can use this throughout, again, to give symmetry and to bring the pages together a little bit. Just kind of a little slight hauntling bit there. So you can see how that's held together. So, tune in for the next video on another stencil technique for your altered book or journal layouts. Bye!